Chef Sheet Tutorials 1. General Chef Sheet Overview Welcome to Chef Sheet, the first free website and mobile app for restaurant inventory. In this first video, I will show you a general overview of Chef Sheet's functions and interface. Other videos will demonstrate how to create, import, and count your inventories, as well as monitor price changes and comparison shop for better prices. You can use ChefSheet for all of your inventories. ChefSheet is designed to replace the clipboard and spreadsheet. Use ChefSheet for end of period inventories, daily orders, weekly orders, and more. To begin, you must first set up a free account by clicking the sign up button. Once you have an account, you sign in using your email address and password here and click sign in. At the bottom of each page are links to download ChefSheet Mobile, the free companion app for iPhone, iPad or Android devices. Also near the bottom of each page is the Show Me How button. Click the Show Me How button and you'll see three guided tutorials that should further help you get the most from your chef sheet. The general tutorial will show you what all the different tabs do. The inventory creation shows you how to create an inventory and the inventory use shows you how to use the inventories that you've created. These bring pop-up windows that show you uh, where to click and how to proceed to the next step. Across the top of each page, you'll see inventories, products, vendors, settings, tutorials, and support. Beginning from right to left, if we click on support, we'll see a few different ways to get in touch with us. 9 to 5 p.m. Pacific Time, Monday through Saturday, expect a return call or email within about an hour. On Sundays, expect to hear from us in a couple of hours. ChefSheet is still in beta, meaning we're still developing, improving, and working to provide you a seamless, powerful product that provides value to you and your business. We want to hear from you, and we welcome your calls and emails. We're happy to arrange online training sessions as well, all at no charge. Contact us anytime. The next tab to the left is Tutorials, where you can view the tutorial videos, which I'm guessing you know because you're watching one now. To the left of Tutorials is Settings. From the Settings tab, you can add other restaurant locations to your account. There's no limit to the number of restaurants you can have on Chef Sheet. To add another restaurant, you click New Restaurants. And to choose the restaurant you wish to interact with, you use the pull-down menu from the top. You can share your Chef Sheet data with anyone in the world, from colleagues at the restaurant to a bookkeeper across the country. To add another user, you click the Add Edit User button. It shows you the list of users in your restaurant already, which you can delete by clicking here. To add a new user, you simply type their name and their email address and hit the Invite button. They'll receive an email. which They can either set up a new account in ChefSheet or use an existing account and will have access to your ChefSheet files. Clicking the little I will show you your restaurant's location and uh, other information, which again you, you probably would know. Clicking the pen allows you to edit your restaurant details such as address, website, and you can add a custom logo for your restaurant which will show up on your mobile device and, and other ways when you're interacting with your chef sheet data. Clicking inventory rooms you can add and delete rooms to count your, your inventory. ChefSheet uses rooms to speed up counting, as we'll see in later videos. You will count your inventory room by room as you move through your restaurant. Categories. ChefSheet totals all of your inventories into these categories. Most restaurants will code purchases, sales, and inventory all into the same categories, such as food, liquor, beer, wine, etc. Create your categories that you'd like to see your inventories totaled into. You can always add new categories during the inventory creation process. ChefSheet comes with some built-in categories, which are the ones off to the left here with the little pictures. And you can use those exclusively, or you can use some of them and create your own. You add a new category here, and to edit one of your custom categories, you click here, and you can add an image that will show up on the mobile app as well. The next tab is Vendors. ChefSheet is both an inventory management site and a social network of restaurants sharing data. ChefSheet's patent pending method allows users to anonymously share data derived from the counting of inventory. Our theoretical restaurant, Chez ChefSheet, is located in San Francisco at 24 Willie Mays Plaza. If someone at Chez ChefSheet were interested in finding vendors for coffee and tea, 
one could click the coffee and tea, leaving the name field blank to not limit the search by name, and clicking search. ChefSheet will scan the inventories of other ChefSheet users and participating vendors. Here we can now see a list of vendors organized by the vendor's distance from Chez ChefSheet. If you click on a vendor, you can now see the vendor's product as captured from the inventories of other users. ChefSheet will never, ever show another restaurant user's name, only the products and from where they were purchased. Items with a knife and fork delineate that the pricing data is coming from a restaurant inventory. Items with a truck, which we don't see any here, would come from a vendor's details. Here we have the vendor's contact information, their logo, and an opportunity to rate and review the vendor should the user choose. This is the average rating and the user's own opportunity to, to rate and review where you can title and use any name that you choose. You can also add new vendors from the vendor tab. However, this can also be done during the inventory creation and import process and we'll cover that again. Searches can also be done for multiple categories at the same time or by name of vendor or both a vendor name and a category. Any vendor in the system that one clicks will always display their inventory information and their rating and reviews and contact information. The last tab we'll cover in this video is the product tab. Here you can search for specific products much as you can search for vendors in the vendor tab. Notice there are two search options, shop for products which will search for products outside of your restaurant inventories and products in your inventory if you're interested in tracking a specific product that you already purchase. You can limit searches by category or you can search global categories by leaving it unselected. View the other tutorials to learn how to create an inventory, add items to inventories, import, use the mobile app, and do reports.